Hello guys, it's Mars. And throughout our lives, we have plenty of people putting expectations on us. We put expectations on ourselves. We put expectations on other people. Other people put expectations on us. And I'm here to tell you that you should not be afraid to celebrate the little things in life. And that you should not be afraid to celebrate the little successes. A lot of us feel like something has to be really big to celebrate. And I've fallen victim to that before. Where I've been like, oh, I did something better today, but it's still not good. Like, it does not matter if something is expected of you or not. If it was hard for you yesterday and today, you did slightly better, even if it's still not up to par to as good as it should be. That is awesome. And you should celebrate that. And you should not let anyone else tell you that you should not be celebrating that. Because when we only celebrate when something big or exceptional happens, then we're going to be barely celebrating. And it can get really discouraging when you've gotten better at things when you've had successes, but those successes are things that came easy to other people. And other people are like, oh, but you should have been doing this. So you shouldn't celebrate. Like on Instagram, I constantly get recommended this one um, page, which is run by a girl who's addicted to cocaine, who talks about how today she got up and she went to work. And she's so proud of herself. And in the comments, I constantly see all this discouraging stuff saying, oh, but that's what being a normal human being is. Okay, does that matter? If somebody got better in some way, even if they're still not up to the standards that they should be, that is still great. And that is still something that should be celebrated. So I'm here to tell you that if you did something better today, or if you saw someone else in your life do something better today, go ahead and celebrate. Go ahead and comment, say something about it. For example, your friend who always shows up late to every single party, every single event y'all plan, shows up on time today. Say, I know she showed up on time. That's awesome. Um, your student who usually gets 50% on their math homework. They got a 60% today. Okay, the passing grade was 70. Still congratulate them for doing better. Um, you managed to stay off self-harm for one day. Feel great about that. You managed to avoid binge eating for one hour. You know, congratulate yourself for it. No matter what it is or how much it's expected of you, if you struggle with being late and you arrive somewhere on time, you should feel proud of yourself for that. If you struggle with taking showers every single day, and today you took a shower, be proud of that. If you don't like the way toothpaste feels in your mouth and today you brushed your teeth, be proud of that. If you got a 40% on all your math tests this semester and today you got a 60 or a 70, be proud of that. Be proud of any sort of improvement because part of getting better is failing. But if you failed a little bit less today, you should be proud of that. And that's what I want to leave you with today. Encourage yourself. Encourage the people around you. Don't take people for granted. Even if people are doing what they're supposed to do, if it's good, like just be like, I'm thankful for it. Your employees are showing up on time. Be like, I'm glad y'all are always showing up on time. The people in your band always have their music. Say, I'm glad y'all are always having your music. And a person maybe forgets something one time. Like I remember, I've been in marching band for um, <clears throat> the past three years. This is my third year on marching band. And I have not forgotten my music once. But on... Tuesday this week, I forgot my music. 
and I also happen to have the show memorized but still you need your music for like knowing where to start because you don't memorize the places where everything starts instantly or if you need to look over something <clears throat> or if you gotta like look at something and I forgot it and my director was like oh you forgot your music and I was like this is my first time forgetting my music. And he's like, that doesn't matter. You should have never forgotten your music. And he's like, I should give you laps for this. Now that right there is what you should not do. When somebody makes a mistake, what you should do is you should, is you should of course call them out on their mistake, but also don't get too worked up about it. You should be glad that they avoided making that mistake for a long period of time. And that is something to be proud of. The fact that you managed to go this long without making a mistake. And remember, we're all human. So I'm going to leave y'all with these words. And I'll get back to y'all later. <laughs>